love. Long time no see. I feel like we're so far apart. Let's I just seen you five minutes I ago. I know. Long time no see. Welcome. How are you, man? Good. How about you? I'm doing really good. Welcome to Portland. I know. It's dope here. You've been here before, right? Yeah. Yeah, a few times. Mm -hmm. How, um, we just kicked off the Confessions of a Dangerous Mind tour like two days ago. Mm-hmm. The energy last night was crazy. Yeah, it was super dope. It was super dope. How how has it been? I know it's early in the tour, but this is the first show. But um every time I come to Portland, it's fucking amazing. Like this really <laughs> like no no cap. Like uh last time I was here, actually before the it's funny, right before like the Lost Boy drop, like two months before, mm -hmm. uh like during the show, I got like 10 fans and had them come on the uh, the bus and like listen to the whole album what? just cause the fucking shit was so crazy you know yeah. what I'm saying so it's always like one of my favorite places to perform so yeah I love that and you brought out Dame Dalla last night you had to brought out Dame Dalla like, was he just like chilling backstage and you're like hey come out let's let's do something for Portland or nah, how did that, that's, that's that like that's like my homie so yeah. uh, I hit him up when I seen I was like oh shit it's the first day of tours in Portland and um, I was like, yo, I got to bring bro out in yeah. this city. We in his house. You know right. what I'm saying? That's literally the same place he <laughs> plays basketball in front of very nice. So I'm like, it's only right. And nobody's going to be expecting it. Right. So I was like, it's, I fuck with it. People were were freaking out. Oh, yeah, They for were sure. freaking out. No, it was dope. I love it, man. Um, Congratulations so far on everything. Thank you. You got your RMP single out right now. We're playing mm -hmm. it on, on Wii. Ooh. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, And your performance with... um. With Anderson on Fallon, and then you guys did BET like yep, a two days couple ago. days ago. Yeah, yep. what was um, that situation like? Just kind of linking up with him and just putting putting something so cool together, and then being able to perform it for everybody. Yeah, for sure, it's dope. We really did it in like um, like literally like a, a radio station. We did yeah. it in a radio station where they got uh, like the radio mics, and we was just going. It's real easy to go back and forth. I'm like, I'm talking into it, then he'll say a line. Like we didn't like write down anything. It was just yeah. like a really fun song to create together. So, and that's really what like music is. You know what I'm saying? It's just like just having fun with it. You right. know, so it's dope. I love that. Um, going back to the tour, what's something that you've already forgotten to pack to bring with you? To be honest, my mom packed all my shit, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. She got extra drawers, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm good for now. L lotion, lotion. Lotion, you need lotion. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Don't good. zoom in on the hands, okay? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> We're yeah, a little yeah. ashy today. And nah. it's cold in Portland, so it's not your yeah, fault. It's, it's all not good. Your fault. It's all good. <laughs> um, your deb debut album, excuse me, The Lost Boy. Mm hmm. It talks about some pretty heavy hitting stuff on there. Yeah, for sure. Family, drugs, like all that yeah. kind of stuff. What was like your main, I guess, hope to convey when putting that out? Like what's something that you, the message, I guess, that you kind of wanted yeah. to get across to everybody? I just wanted to be vulnerable as an artist. You know what I'm saying? As a human being, you know, I just wanted to sort of just tell my story. Like, you know, I was very... uh transparent you know speaking on like just real life things that i've gone through that i haven't like talked about before things that my family goes through things that i i've gone through that i'm still going through today so i just i can only be myself unapologetically you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying just you know i'm not i'm far from fucking perfect you know what i'm saying can yeah. i curse yes okay cool but uh <laughs> i should ask that like it's all good 10 minutes ago but uh but yeah so i just wanted to be my you know i'm just myself unapologetically yeah. and that's all i can be through my music so i can only talk about my life experiences so yeah you started making music when you were 14 15 yeah yeah What's something that... And even before then, I was rapping, yeah. but that's when I started, like... That's like when I was able to like sell the, some shoes to get a, a decent ragamuffin studio. Yeah. So, yeah. Th see, that's dedication right there. He was selling the kicks mm -hmm. to put in the work. So Had to wear those toms. Yeah. <laughs> but now, now, <laughs> now we're the rocking the, the, the good goods. Yeah, these are Puma. Got, so, yeah. yeah, those yep. are cute. I like no. those. <laughs> Still pretty affordable, but, you know, yeah. you get it. Balling on a budget. Yeah, come on, That's now. what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Um... What's something that you would, I mean, you're still pretty young. You're what, 21? Mm -hmm. What's something that you would still tell like your 15 year old self though? Like, nigga, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I but just, that. uh, just, uh, just keep working. Cause yeah. you know, I'm still work. I'm still at the very beginning of my career. I still got a lot more work to put in. I still got to get better as an artist, sure. as a human being too. So just, just keep it going. I want to tell him nothing. He know what he was doing. Yeah. I feel like, um, a lot of people that, are trying to do the same thing that you're doing. 
neat to hear that from other people that have, you know, struggled and, and have had to do like that come up, you know, because sometimes yeah. it, you get hard on yourself, you know, it's like, why am I doing this? Is it all for nothing? And then eventually, yeah, I feel like for it pays sure. Off. Oh, yeah, you gotta love it because, man. Yo, I got like four mixtapes out, you know, from when I was, I've, oh, I've been like rapping since I was like four, mm -hmm. since I was, then I started like freestyling against everybody when I was like 10. Yeah. And then like, I started like making like whole ass mixtapes when I was 15. That's when I started recording music every day. And I'm just now starting to see, six years later, I'm just now starting to see, you know, progression. And it's still, uh... You know, I still, I'm still, you know, just getting in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm still not satisfied. I'm still hungry. I still got a lot more I got to do. For sure. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the come up, you know what I'm saying, for the progress. But it, this shit don't happen overnight. This mm -hmm. shit take a lot of 10,000, 15,000 hours in, you know? So, yeah. Was there a moment that you could maybe remember that you were just like, fuck it, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Never. Good. <laughs> see that's the kind of energy you guys got to keep up right for sure never that yep uh, before we wrap up mm -hmm. uh, is there any new projects that are coming out that you want to tell us about is Man, there I any I just dropped my shit two I months know. ago <laughs> damn but you're always working you're <laughs> not always yet, working yeah not for sure I got a bunch of men I got so much shit in the stash yeah. you know what I'm saying but uh, I just I'm a perfectionist you know what I'm saying so like I got I got a hundred songs, yeah. you know, in the in the vault. But like, I don't think none of them are ready yet. You yeah. know, I just I take my time with music, so I believe in quality over quantity versus just throwing shit out. You know, I literally just said that like an hour ago. I love yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. Um, so. so the focus is just the the tour, and then you making music, yeah. making good music. I record every day still, so yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Now, I appreciate. Give it up for YBN Cordae, you guys. Oh, Woo! Appreciate it. Thank each and every one of y'all for coming. I appreciate it, too. Thank y'all. Oh, so we're going to let you have a moment in the green room, and then we'll line everybody up for some meet and greet photos, and then... Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Cool. Thank you. One more time for YBN Corday. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, guys. This is a really cool mic. It reminds me of, like, the Temptations. You can hold on to like it for Apollo. a little bit. Yeah, hang on, okay, hang cool. on to I like it for a little bit. There you go. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> so, Where's the bathroom at? There we go. To the right, to the right. Okay, cool. <laughs>